If you've been to Pinellas County's beaches lately, you've probably noticed a seaweed invasion. Our Brad Davis went to the water line today to find out what the deal is with this stuff and how beachgoers are handling it. The amount of seaweed is what you notice first. In one direction, the brown dried blanket coats the sand. In the other, a fresh batch of it waits to come ashore. It smells really bad and it's, it's dry, yucky, crumbly, nasty. This is Sheree Van Landingham's first ever trip to Clearwater Beach. She's happy that not too much is in the water here, but... It's sad. It's sad to see all this washed up like this. Um, the ocean's beautiful, but this is an eyesore. Even the people that have lived at the beach for years have had their fill of this stuff. I've been here since 1991. I never see such a dirty beach in my life. This is terrible. Pinellas County Coastal Manager Andy Squires shed some light on what's been washing up on the beach the past few weeks. This is a brown algae called sargasm, and it typically is out in the open gulf. Squires says it's hard to know for sure if the sargasm is a direct result of Tropical Storm Debbie. And though it's typical for it to show up on our beaches, this year it seems like an invasion. These provide flotation because this is not attached to the bottom. It floats on the surface. So these are little gas vacuoles that provide flotation. Sargasm. Sargasm. <laughs> Sargasm. It might have an official name, but to people at the beach, it's just seaweed and lots of it. When dry, it can be uncomfortable on the feet, but it's basically harmless. So we're still having fun. You just have to swim a little bit farther out to get away from it. Clearwater rakes their sand every day of the year. It helps, but it'll likely take time and nature's help before it's gone for good. In Pinellas County, Brad Davis, ABC Action News.